Hey, so today, oh, I'm so excited. In celebration of Lipstick Day, Fenty decided to send me a bunch. When I say a bunch, I mean every single colour in their new Mademoiselle plush lipsticks. I'm sorry they look so wretched, but I had to bind them together because I need to remember the sequence of how we're gonna swatch it. These retail for $28, so they're pretty affordable. I've already worn some of these out, I've swatched them on my hands, you'll see them very shortly. I'm gonna be doing a swatch of every single colour, pairing with this makeup look right here, which is also Funny enough, almost all Fenty, except for the brows I have on the foundation, the concealer, and I also created this eye look with the Moroccan Spice palette, which is beautiful and amazing, and the fly liner, which is actually one of my favorites. I also really do love the foundation and concealer. I think I look great today. I did this entire face in under 15 minutes because I'm rushing to do this swatch video. I have primed my lips. Now let me show you what I used. Just want to clarify, this is not a sponsored video, but they did send the items to me. So this is the lip scrub and this is the Pro Kisser lip balm. It has like a really nice light tint. Applies like a lip gloss. Really moisturizing, really nice and I'm gonna need this because of the 24 shades of matte lipstick. I do have some thoughts about it but before I get into the review, here are all of the swatches. <laughs>
I hope you enjoyed the swatches. It took me a really long time and actually this is the next day. I just like dressed up in the same top and the same makeup to provide some sort of continuity. So I've tried these out for a week now and I'm not usually the kind of person that would go for like matte lippies just because first of all, I talk a lot, I eat a lot. Matte lipsticks just don't usually stay on me and also I don't like the feeling of something being really dry or like cracking up or having that butthole lip sort of situation where it's sort of like crusty around the insides of the lips. That's just not cool. And for that reason, I always opt for balms. But the thing about balms is that they don't give you the same kind of intensity and the same kind of pigmentation that a matte lipstick does. And I'm really happy noticing that the Mademoiselle is not like that at all. It's really, really comfortable. It's very smooth. It's not chalky at all. It's still very pigmented. Most of the time, if you're seeing me <laughs> swatch, I'm swatching multiple times because I'm just a bad lipstick applier. And usually I take a lot longer. For that swatch, I felt like I had to do it faster and so you'll see me sort of like struggle with it a little bit. But for the most part, you only need one swipe to get like the full coverage if you, you know, can aim it properly, that sort of thing. I'm wearing Freckle Fiesta on my face, on my lips. Not on my face, oh my god. The good thing about how it's one swipe and complete is that you don't have to go over it again and again because usually what happens then is that it skips over the product, it looks uneven, it just doesn't look that great. I did notice a couple of colours that are a little bit like that. The only colour I sort of had a problem with was I Quit, which is a little bit of a greyish, greyish, beige sort of tone and it was just inherently uneven like I felt like I couldn't work with it with or without a lip balm it was just difficult but other than that I really don't feel like the colors are like that at all okay really quickly here are my favorite colors spanked madame and freckle fiesta which is what I have on my lips as I said these three are colors that either I know I would definitely wear like spanked or colors like freckle fiesta which is a really nice sort of like burnt orange. Honestly, it's very difficult picking all of these. I chose Spanked because that's ideally what I would wear. Like, that's what I would pick up if I see a Sephora display and I'm like, I want to try it, but I want to make sure that I like it. Also, I would probably go with a red because I just love the look of a matte red lip and this is super, super comfortable. This is super great. As you can tell, it's not cracking. So when I smile or when I sort of pucker my lips, you don't see that crack. You don't see that sort of thing. And even if you do, you can still sort of like 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 mm -hmm, mm -hmm, with your finger like kind of smooth it out i've had to do that with the black lipstick after like an hour or two of wear i don't know what i was doing i wasn't really eating i think i was just like talking a lot and like you know doing stuff special mention for like the unnatural colors that you don't usually reach for here are my faves i really really loved violet furt it's like the hot purple i never expected to look good wearing it i think for some reason it really complements my skin tone maybe because i've got like yellow undertones lah it looks really vibrant it looks really beautiful the pigmentation the smoothness oh 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 deserves a special mention which is why it's here clapback is also a really nice sort of like cool toned dark teal sort of color it's really really nice the last color is the black color which is just effing black I do really like it, even though it does skip over because other black lipsticks always either look sort of like greyish, um, not completely opaque or not creamy at all. So they turn out really, really chalky. And I feel like if you want to go for a black lipstick, like this is a great option. So I hope you guys enjoyed my quick little review and also my swatches. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. But if not, happy lipstick day. I hope you guys have a blast. Thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, don't forget to click the thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I make new videos every week, so don't forget to turn on that bell. Yeah, bye. <laughs> oh my god.